every day What can I do to make you mine? Just look my way, I see you try Try to be cool, but it's not you I'm the one, the one that you want So try me, babe Watching from afar, wishing upon a star If you could only see what I see Trying to open up your life I'm gonna change your mind uh, about me I gotta make you see me fit perfectly Like it's meant to be so desperately So just follow me cause I've got the key Let's unlock our books and find out what's inside it Could be anything a good thing So let's change your mind About everything can feel this way on my own. You see, you yes, do. I go ahead, keep keeping on. I won't fold. Open up and take me in. Don't be so cold. Watching from afar, wishing upon a star. If you could only see what I see. Trying to open up your eyes that been white shut. But I believe it's not a dream. I'm gonna. Change your mind uh, about me I gotta make you see me fit perfectly Like it's meant to be so desperately So just follow me Cause I've got the key Let's unlock our books and find out what's inside it Could be anything a good thing So let's change your mind Okay, I'm back at the end and this one was about a little girl who was pretty ungrateful of the way that she looked because she was obviously pretty but she spoke to the wrong person about it and she spoke to someone that was actually going to exaggerate every single flaw that she thought that she had. So if she thought that her nose was pointy, the witch made it ten times worse. If she thought that her eyes were small, again, the witch just completely exaggerated everything. And this is not my perception of ugly. This was just the little girl's worst nightmare. So don't think for any sort of like moment that it was mine because it's not. 
You know, again, just for example, if I write a story about murder, it doesn't mean I agree with it. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting story. So the way that, to kind of make it less confusing, the way that I see the story is that she wouldn't be able to talk about it with anybody. Kind of like if you've ever watched Howl's Moving Castle, how Sophie's just not allowed to talk about her spell, like the words physically will not come out of mouth. I kind of imagine this happened with Lydia here, and that's where a lot of the inspiration of this story actually came from. And later on in the story, she does fall in love, which she happens to find the person in the reflection of the mirror um, behind her. So she spends the whole story trying to make them fall in love with her and when they do she realizes that doesn't break the spell so it was about self-love and as soon as Lydia learned to love herself that was when the spell was broken so I hope you enjoyed it it was it was fun to make you know I was really stuck and I've been really ill the past couple of weeks That's why there haven't been many videos but I will make up for it in the next couple of weeks if you did enjoy it please remember to give me a thumbs up because it does really help me out and I will see you all in the next one